My name is Lena Boscobierne. I am Product and Application Specialist for Chopin Technology. Today we will see how to run a test using an Alveo PC, an instrument from Chopin brand for measuring the rheological characteristics of a bubble of dough during deformation. The Alveo PC is always composed of two inseparable parts. The kneading machine for dough sample preparation, the alveograph itself where the dough patty is deformed into a bubble until it ruptures. Additionally, the Alveo PC comes with all the accessories necessary to manage the dough. The extrusion plate, the steel roller, the cutter, the laminating plate, the resting plates, a knife and a spatula, and a dropper for the oil. It also includes a nozzle to calibrate the airflow, a filling hopper, a brush, and a mini PC, which is a central unit dedicated to run the Alveo PC. Turn on the Alveo PC thanks to the power button. Then, Turn on the mini PC and the Alveo PC will be ready to run. Before running the first test of the day, do not forget to calibrate the airflow by doing the 9260 thanks to the provided nozzle and to activate the cooling system. In order to run a test, you need to configure the test within the software. Click on Test, then on Start a test. Select your protocol. In this case, I will be demonstrating the standard test at constant hydration. Enter the name of the test, select a partner and a product, and indicate the water content of the flower. Click on Next to open a test window. Weight 250 g of flour to an accuracy of plus or minus 0.5 g. Place the upper on top of the mixing bowl and insert the flour. Fill the burette to deliver the appropriate quantity of salted water at 2.5%. This quantity can be read on the burette as the water content of the flour. Start the mixing by pressing the mixing button. At the same time, incorporate the salted water using the burette through the hole in the cover. Once the injection is complete, remove the burette. Allow the dough to form for one minute, then open the cover. Using the plastic spatula provided, reincorporate any flour and dough adhering to the F register and to the corners of the kneading machine. You can repeat this operation two or three times. This step should take less than one minute. Close the cover and knead for six minutes. During this time, oil the accessories required for extrusion. When the mixing stops after a total of 8 minutes, open the extrusion aperture by raising the F register and start extruding the dough test pieces. Remove the first centimeter of dough using a knife in a clean downward movement. When the strip of dough has reached sufficient length, cut it and place the piece of dough onto the laminating plate. Sheet the dough pieces using the roller 12 times. Using the cutter, cut the test piece and remove any surplus dough. Place the obtained patty on a resting plate. Transfer the dough piece to the resting chamber for 20 minutes and repeat this operation with 5 dough pieces in total. You can take benefit of the resting time to clean the kneader. Remove the flange, the remaining dough, the F register and the blade. Immerse them into water and clean them carefully. Use a damp cloth to clean the mixing bowl. Once the mixer is clean, you can start another test, even if the first test is still ongoing. 28 minutes after the beginning of the kneading, it is time to inflate the dough pieces. Unscrew the ring and turn the tampon over. Oil the fixed plate and the tampon. Slide the dough piece and center it, acting on its edge. Replace the tampon and screw the ring back to immobilize it. Flatten the dough piece by screwing the upper plate in about 20 seconds until it stops. Then remove the tampon and the ring and put the handle down. Press the start test button so the Alveo PC starts injecting air into the bubble. As soon as the bubble breaks, stop the air supply, loosen the upper plate and remove the dough. The curve appears on the screen. Repeat this operation on the four remaining dough pieces. Proceed by order of extrusion. The results are measured from the average of the five curves obtained. This is called an alveogram. If all tests are completed, you can clean the platin using a dry cloth, close the software and switch off the alveo PC and the mini PC. 
I hope this demonstration was useful. For more information about our product, please visit us at www.kpmanalytics.com. Thank you.